You don't say. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Good news, everybody. Vladimir Putin has officially stopped the Koofy Koof. That's right. America has officially won its war against that spooky virus that has a 99.7% survivability rate. And because democratic utopias are now lifting masks and vax mandates, we can all breathe easy and look back on everything and just have a laugh. That's what Saturday Night Live is doing. They made a funny little sketch about how the medical misinformation we've been hearing about for the last two years may have actually held some weight. And you know what? It actually is pretty funny. I look back on the last year and realize that it was rife with hilarity. Like when Joe Biden told the unvaccinated that they were going to be denied the dignity of an honest paycheck if they did didn't take the vaccine. We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin. Oh man, that was a great one. <laughs> or how Andrew Cuomo totally shoved a whole bunch of COVID patients into nursing homes and ended up killing like 15,000 people. <laughs> he was praised for this. <laughs> there is so much blood on his hands. Or, or remember the time when Dr. Tony Fauci lied under oath before Congress over the origins of the Koofy Koof and faced no legal ramification for lying? <laughs> or the gargantuan increase of substance abuse cases, domestic violence, and suicide brought up by the completely pointless lockdowns? <laughs> Oh, oh, this was a good one. You remember that time when Jim Cramer said that Joe Biden should turn the U.S. military on its own citizens? So it's time to admit that we have to go to war against COVID. Require vaccination universally. Have the military run it. <laughs> I think my favorite practical joke was when countless YouTube creators and journalists and social media users were completely deplatformed and had their voice totally stripped from them because medical misinformation. <laughs> they totally were denied their First Amendment right to free speech and they totally got away with it too. <laughs> Oh, well, I suppose the completely coincidental irony that the exhaustive attempt to demonize those who didn't want to partake in this certain medical procedure that shall remain nameless was completely and utterly pointless and unnecessary. But you know what? It's been at least a week and a half since the unvaxxed were completely belittled and made to appear inferior. And if you ask me, that's more than enough time for wounds to heal. You hear me, you filthy, unvaxxed, cock-sucking, selfish Nazi racisms? So what if for the better part of a year people have been screaming at you and spitting on you and claiming that you're killing people get over it already and is it really that big of a deal that you were literally trampled over by a horse for protesting unjust and inhumane vaccine mandates if you answer yes then you're a piece of shit boo hoo your family and friends completely cut ties with you because you didn't feel like injecting yourself was necessary for fuck's sakes grow up and stop whining about how you lost all of your savings because your employer fired you for not adhering to a completely unnecessary necessary medical procedure. Freedom isn't free, and you were free to choose to inject yourself with this substance or lose your job. It's not on them, it's on you. Stop being butthurt about it. Oh, did the country of Australia unjustly arrest you, separate you from your family, and throw you into a camp without due process? You poor little baby. Let me get your bottle. You know what? I wasn't allowed to take my first class vacation to Italy. You don't hear me bitching about it. Stop making mountains out of molehills and just get the fuck over it. Move on. We got bigger problems, you assholes. Stop bitching and get living. After spending the last year demonizing the unvaxxed, racially segregating our children, and convincing half of the U.S. population that the other half wants to destroy our country simply over political and medical opinions, it's time to unite. We need to stand firm together and join in solidarity over a war in a country that has massive financial ties to the executive branch of the White House. We shouldn't worry about a certain world superpower who's going to be annexing Taiwan in a massive political power play. We need to worry about Vladimir Putin and Russia and their evil Russian-nesses because they're obviously Nazi racisms and we gotta get ready for nuclear world war three. So stop panicking and start panicking. Buy all the toilet paper but leave one for the next guy because that is the patriot 
patriotic thing to do. We just need to get over it and accept that the virus is gone now. And what happened never needs to be talked about again. Because if you want to talk about it, it's obviously because you hate America, democracy, and grandma's apple pie. Seriously, man. Why do you hate grandma's apple pie? Brian Stelter loves your grandma's apple pie. Don't worry, his taint is only salty for a couple of minutes. You'll get used to it. And if you're still furious about how you've been treated unfairly to an obscene degree for the last year and a half, and you can't find it within yourself to forgive those who demonized you and bullied you and stripped you of your job, your family, your dignity, and your privacy, then I only have one question for you. Who's the real bully here? I'll give you a hint. It's you. It was always you. What is up, Mahones? Arston the Unclean here. Just dropping by to say thank you for checking out the new video. If you're a fan of hastily put together videos done by the ramblings of a raving lunatic who lives in his parents' basement, well then you found the right place. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment in the section down below. Today's subject is aluminum siding. Want to say thank you to both Black Conservative Perspective and Sydney Watson for the inspiration for this video. And though I am quite confident that my existence will remain a mystery to them until the end of human history, I still believe in having good manners. If you happen to be on my YouTube channel, check me out on BitChute, and if you're on BitChute, check me out on YouTube. And bear with me while I figure out the social media thing. It is not my bag, especially since I've been avoiding it for the last decade and a half. And as always, thank you for caring, and I'll see you in the gulag.